Bienvenidos a Joan Moon Games. Hoy os traigo Watch Over Christmas. Empezamos. Welcome, fellow adventurers. Our story begins on one of the most anticipated nights of the year. The night before Christmas. A time of year when all the houses are dressed up in bright lights and family stockings are hung on the mantelpiece with care. The children are all snug comfortably in their beds with only one thought dancing in their heads. Will Santa be soon there? And as the night is still young and serene, somewhere far, far away, everything is about to take a different turn. For our beloved Christmas is in danger of never being celebrated again. Well, well, well. After all this time, you are finally in my dungeon. It was about time, don't you agree? <coughs> ah, you know what they say. What goes around comes around, my old friend. <coughs> don't sweat it. I promise I'll do my best. This year... Christmas will change entirely and forever. The best part, though, is that no one can do anything about it. <laughs> December 24th. A young boy's night is about to be shaken by a strange call, as in a few minutes he will be summoned to save the most beloved holiday of them all. Cisco, what are you doing down here at this hour? You should be in bed by now. I know, but I wanted to make sure everything is ready for Santa. <laughs> Don't worry, my child. Everything is in place. The stockings are hung on the mantel, hmm? cookies and milk are on the table, and as we agreed, I'll leave the Christmas tree lit. Fantastic, Mom! Oh wait! The fireplace is still burning! I'll put out the fire as soon as I go upstairs, don't worry. We won't burn Santa this year. Time for bed, then. I don't feel like sleeping, Mom! Don't you want to wake up early in the morning and get your Christmas present? Like crazy! I've been waiting all year for this night. You're right, I'm going to bed. Night-night, Cisco. Good night, Mom. Oh, boy! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Oh boy! I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and get my present! Cisco! Huh? Who said that? It's your help! It's your emergency! Is the radio really talking to me? Who is this? Please! It's a matter of life and. Is this a prank? Please stop it! It's getting spooky! You're the only one! And with no time! Go! I'm losing calm! Repeat, go to attic! What? Go to the attic? You must hurry! All of our hopes. What's in the attic? To save Steve. In danger! Christmas ever again! Did it just say. Save Christmas? Huh? 
I guess I'll have to go to the attic and find out what's going on. Whoever it was, it sounded like they really needed my help. Something is blocking the trap door. I have to find another way in. I remember it was stuck once before, but Dad managed to enter somehow. Maybe I should go and ask him discreetly. Dad, do you remember the time the attic trap door was stuck? Actually, I'm trying to forget it. Why is that? Well, it was not one of my finest moments. How did you do it? Sorry, son. You're too young to share this information with you. Oh, come on. Please? Sorry, Cisco. Still a no. Mom said she admired you that day. You were so brave, like a hero. Really? Sure, and I admire you too. Thank you, Cisco. But I don't know how you did it. All right, but don't tell your mom that I told you. I swear. I had to climb up to the roof. You see, the attic window is right above your room and your sister's. So I went up there and entered through the window. It wasn't as easy as it sounds. I had back pain for almost a week. Good to know. What? Don't even think about trying that. Your mom will kill us both. I mean, good to know the reason for admiring you. Oh, thank you, son. I'm going back to bed now. The paper boy. Better not. I don't want to let a chill into the room. I could, but I removed the lenses for cleaning. Hey, Zoe! Hey, Cisco! Zoe, I need your help. I hope it's important this time. It is. I want you to help me open the trap door. Are you serious? Yes. Somehow it's stuck and I can't open it. Will you help me? You are joking, right? No, please. You are wasting my time, Cisco. Oh, come on, please. Stop it. I said no. Pretty please? Last chance, Cisco. Fine, forget it. Catch you later. A poster of Zoe's favorite band. I remember one night she had to sneak out to go to their concert. She never misses anything that has to do with this band. Don't touch my stuff, Cisco. Oops. A post I remember she never Hey Zoe. Hey Cisco. Hey sis, why do you have so many posters? Because I like music and they look cool. Any personal favorite? The Guilties. Best band ever. Their latest album poster is the one next to the door. Thanks! Good to know! I have some more questions. Catch you later! A poster of... I remember one night she had... She never... I 
I don't want to go downstairs and wander around the house right now. I need to go to the attic and find out what's going on. Mom? Yes, Cisco? What are you doing, Mom? Didn't you go to bed a few minutes ago? Sure, uh, but I had to, uh, help, uh, Zoe. Really? Yes, something with her laptop. Glad to know that you get along with each other. Do you believe in Santa, Mom? Do you, Cisco? Yes, but sometimes I get confused. Well, I'll tell you this, my dear. You don't necessarily have to believe. To believe is to have faith. And Christmas is not about faith. It's about magic. Something really strange happened, Mom! Are you trying to stay awake past midnight again? No, I'm serious this time! Fine. What happened? I went to bed as you told me, and just as I was about to lie down, a strange voice spoke to me through the radio! <sighs> At first I couldn't make out what it was saying because of the white noise. It was like a static mumble. Then I focused on it and caught some words. It knew my name! So spooky, Mom! <sighs> also, something about the attic, that it was urgent, and there was no time to waste. It wanted my help. So guess what its last words were? I cannot imagine. Save Christmas! I have to save Christmas, Mom! Oh, Cisco, you have such a vivid imagination. Can you please help me to open the trap door? What trap door? The one that leads to the attic. We have a trap door. Since forever! Oh, sorry, Cisco, but usually your dad is the one that goes to the attic. I'm going back to bed now. Dad, what are you doing? Just zapping. Why? Are you having a hard time deciding which program to watch? No, it just relaxes me. Isn't that really annoying? Maybe for your mom. Thank God she's still rehydrating her face. Can I try also? No, Cisco. As far as I know, you should be in bed by now. Cool. Do you believe in Santa, Dad? Sure. Doesn't sound like it. No worries, my boy. I have a feeling he's going to visit us tonight, really early. Seriously? Yes, but he is a little shy. Unless we all fall asleep, he won't come down the chimney. Oh boy, oh boy! Dad, I need your help. Certainly, my boy. The trap door seems to have stuck, and I can't get it open. It's too late for this right now, Cisco. But it's very important, Dad. I promise I will help you, first thing in the morning. It might be too late by then. Do not worry, it won't. Besides, we will have to clean the mess. There is a lot of junk up there. <sighs> Can you tell Zoe to help me open the trap door? You are old enough to get what you want by yourself. Thanks, Dad. You know what? I changed my mind. The weirdest thing happened, Dad. Such as? The radio talked to me. That's how radios work. <sighs> Zoe is not helping me. Seriously? Didn't see that coming. Nothing, actually. I'm going back to bed now. This is where my parents store their clothes. Dad has his own closet organization system. He's so good at it. Batman returns. 
Returns. Rated PG-13. No! That's not a window I would like to open. Mom? Yes, Cisco? I'm going back to bed now. We're going to dump out of that piece by Gary Shepard at the moment and go back to him live on the telephone before he has an up-to-date report. Gary. Hands off, Cisco! They don't really have any particular significance, but for some weird reason, they are very popular as lamps or neon lights. Hey, Zoe! Hey, Cisco! Zoe, I need your help! I hope it's important this time. It is! I want you to help me open the trap door! Are you serious? Yes! Somehow it's stuck and I can't open it! Will you help me? You are joking, right? No! Please! You are wasting my time, Cisco! Oh, come on! Please! Stop it! I said no! Pretty please? Last chance, Cisco! I'd rather not take my chances. I don't want to cause Zoe's wrath. Fine, forget it. Zoe, do you believe in Santa? He is just a story for the kids. Really? And who puts the presents under the tree? Mom and Dad. Who else? But I never caught them doing that. Maybe because you were sleeping? Nope! One night, I hid beneath the dining table, but neither of them came down. Mom found me in the morning sleeping on the couch. And guess what? The tree was full of presents! Oh, Cisco, you need to grow up. Maybe that's the problem, that you have grown up. Santa is real. Santa is the magic of Christmas. Santa is just a marketing figure for the holidays, so people will buy presents. There's nothing magical about Christmas. Oh, really? In just one night, a single night, Santa has to travel 316 million miles. And based on the number of people and houses in the world, including the Earth's measurements, having an average speed of 6.7 million miles per hour, he makes 822.6 visits per second. If that's not magic, then how does he do it? You creep me out sometimes. You know that, Cisco? How can you say that? Easily. You're not funny, you know. I don't have time to argue. Hey, sis, why do you have so many posters? Because I like music and they look cool. I prefer blinking lights. They are cooler. Whatever, Cisco. I have some more questions. Who are you chatting with? None of your business. What's the story with the pink flamingos? It's my spirit animal. Catch you later! I don't want to go downstairs. I need to go to the attic and find... I've always wondered, if olive oil is made from olives, then baby oil... <gasps> you know? Scary, right? Still, it's an unusual place for it to be. But Dad seems happy with it. Even if I wanted to, I have the feeling I'm being watched. I guess if I need it, I know where to find it. I've already taken my bath for today. Hmm, there is no hot water.
Why is the baby oil on the toilet? It's a secret. I'll take it to my grave. For now, take no for an answer. Now you know where I got my witty spirit from. I'm going back to bed now. Mom? Yes, Cisco. I'm going back. Hey, Zoe. Hey, sis. Catch you later. I don't want to go downstairs. I need to go to the app. I love chatting with my friends from space camp. And guess what my homepage is? That's right, NASA. No time for that right now. I wish my computer was as advanced as Deep Thought so that it could talk. Okay, here goes nothing. Recreational program for handicapped adults in the Great New Haven area. The new waves next for the 13 days of Christmas. The radio is working normally. Phew, I wouldn't like to hear that voice again. That's my hideout, literally. Isn't that cool? It's Cosmos, not an ordinary stuffed teddy bear. We spent many nights staying up late together. Come here, Cosmos. Hey, Cosmos! He never responds. I wish he could talk back. Wow! It blinks! I'm going back. Mom? Yeah? I'm going... I don't want... I need to go to... Dad said he had to climb to the roof once to access the attic. And this is the only window of the house that leads to the roof. I'd better get out there and figure out how he did it. The roof is already slippery because of the snow. Now I get why Dad didn't want to tell me about the time he went up on the roof. I'd better be careful, especially if I have to climb down the same way I came up. I don't want to get smudged with soot. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. It's out of my reach. My faithful dog, Socks. He sleeps like a puppy. My faith... I love playing basketball with my dad on Sundays. I don't want to go down... I need to go to the attic and... Hey, Zoe! Hey, sis! Catch you later! Ha, 
Dogfather, a Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett. She doesn't like any, but I still regret the last time I touched it. That's Zoe's guitar. I have to admit, she plays really well. And push my lovely si- That would be so- My lovely sister Zoe. She has only one rule in her room. Do not touch. Hey Zoe! Hey sis- Catch you later! A poster of Zoe's fa- I remember one night, she, she never misses- Don't touch my- Oops! Hands up! They don't really have any particular significance, but for some weird reason, they are very- Dad, I certainly my You know what? I'm going Mom? Yes? I'm going I don't want to go downstairs. I need to go to That's an odd place to store it. Dad is famous for his sloppiness. I wonder if he thinks it has anything to do with toiletries. Why not? It might come in handy. Oh boy, that wasn't an easy climb. I guess this is my only choice. Not possible. Here goes nothing. Don't try this at home, kids. Mom will kill me if she finds out. I can't get it open. The hinges are stuck. Maybe this will do the trick. Yes! It's quite dark. I can't see a thing. It's quite dark. I can't see a thing. Oh boy, the things I climbing up is even harder. Let's hope I won't have to do that again. I don't want to get I don't want to I need to That's my hot Isn't that cool?
Hey, Zoe! Hey, Cisco. Zoe, I need your help. I hope it's important this time. It is! I want you to help. Are you s- Yes! You are j- No! You oh, stop! Last- Fine. Catch you later! I don't want to go- I need to go- Certainly, my fresh Kodak You know what? I'm going back. Mom? I'm going back to bed. It's Cosmos, my faithful teddy bear. He is so lifelike that sometimes I talk to him. Hey, Cosmos! He never responds. I wish he could talk back. There's nothing hidden behind it. Trust me, if there was, I'd know. I look awesome! I can talk to myself without having to look at my reflection. I don't want to- I need to go to- Now it's on! Oh boy, that wasn't an- There is a strange glow coming out of the pile. I guess I should search through the pile carefully. Well, let me see. My old school books. Mom's old mortar. A crowbar. Dad's rain boots. Boy, there is some serious junk in here. Phew! Done. Of all this junk, I'll keep the crowbar. I have a feeling I should carry it around, like a true adventurer. It seems that the pile's glow was coming from this small box. Let's see what's inside. What was that? A strange glow just came out of the box and flew away. Should I follow it? But first, let's take a look at the box. I wonder what's so special about it. What could be so important to be stored inside it? Hmm, all there is inside is a strange device. And... and a letter? Oh boy, this is getting so weird. And I'm even more curious. I can't resist reading this letter. It looks really old. Let's see what it says. Dear recipient, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean one thing. Trouble is coming. Strange as it may sound, Arm yourself with wit and courage, the essential equipment of every adventure. You are about to set out on a journey from which I hope you will emerge victorious. Christmas has always been a time of transition, and I cannot even imagine what it's like to be at stake. 
Fear not, my dubious friend. A strange glow will help. Follow it. It will indicate a way to open the strange cylinder that comes with this letter. Once you do, burn the contents and find a lifeless toy so that the glow may possess it and visit your world. Do not hesitate. You are going to need it. All my hopes rest in you. The world relies on you. Please, you need to save Christmas! Dad's old teddy bear from his boyhood. No, that's not my teddy bear. I need to find my own. Besides, the fur and fabric on that one are so worn, it will probably fall apart as soon as I touch it. Now, where did that strange glow go? I guess I'll have to search all over the house. Darn it! A strange glow, same as the one in the attic, comes from behind the glass window. I can't, it's locked. Let's see, some patient files, more patient files, even more patient files. Ugh, nothing of interest. Some pen lights, reflex hammers, tuning forks. Nothing of interest. Just some notes and other papers. Nothing of interest. Better not. Dad wouldn't like that. Besides, I have my own upstairs. Dad's workspace. All books are about neurology, Dad's specialty. Here is my left hemisphere. Here is my right hemisphere. Anatomy in its simplest form. A chart map for all the parts of the brain. That's interesting. The power of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself and heal in cases of injury or deprivation. Wow, the human brain is really powerful after all. A collection of some old and rare whiskeys. Wait, this one says it's 52 years old. Wow, really? That's four times my age! Sorry, Dad. I know I'm not allowed to, but I needed to save Christmas. I'll just take this one. I found this old letter in a box in the attic. Reading it gave me goosebumps. I wonder who wrote it. Let's see what it says. Dear recipient, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean one thing. Trouble is coming. Strange as it may sound, arm yourself with wit and courage, the essential equipment of every adventure. You are about to set out on a journey from which I hope you will emerge victorious. Christmas has always been a time of transition, and I cannot even imagine what it's like to be at stake. Fear not, my dubious friend. A strange glow will help. Follow it. It will indicate a way to open the strange cylinder that comes with this letter. Once you do, burn the contents and find a lifeless toy so that the glow may possess it and visit your world. Do not hesitate. You are going to need it. All my hopes rest in you. 
The world relies on you. Please, you need to save Christmas. To open the cryptex, I need the right combination of symbols. In particular, a combination of four symbols. I haven't found any so far. I need to keep looking. There's nothing else inside. I need the remote control for sure. That's how it's operated. It's too heavy to carry it around. I'd better leave it right here. Let's see if I can rekindle the fire. Hmm, nothing happened. Maybe I need some tinder. I know it's a sin to waste such a rare and expensive whiskey, but this will do the trick. If your palm gets sweaty from holding the remote, that's the place to put it. Surprisingly, it's empty. There's no time! Everything looks so... I think there are more. It provides heated air for the house in the winter. This is the boiler of the house. When it works, hot water runs through the pipes. Right now it's not working. Maybe I can fire it up using its controls. Boiler specifications. Normal working pressure, 26 PSI. Maximum working pressure, 30 PSI. Instructions. 1. Fill the boiler with water. 2. Set temperature and gas setting to zero for safety purposes. 3. Press the ignite button. 4. Adjust the gas flow and temperature setting to achieve the normal working pressure. Attention! Keep an eye on the pressure gauge to avoid overpressure. Great! It seems that the boiler ignited. Now to adjust the pressure. Pressure. Hmm, nothing happens. Maybe I should read the instructions one more time. Great! It seems that the boiler ignited. Now to adjust the pressure. Ignites the main system. Ignite.
एक नाइट We have some bubbles going on. The boiler is working. The boiler seems to be working now. Hmm, it's not working. I remember that we don't have this is the oldest item in our family. It has been passed down from generation to generation. I believe it belonged to my great-great-grandfather. Dad was trying to apply a storage organization system earlier. For some reason, he left it unfinished. Nothing. Just so you know, the clothes are still wet. The door is locked for the night. A whole collection of Jamie Oliver recipes. That's our Christmas soup for tomorrow. There's nothing I want to cook right now. a waste container. I don't take out the... I'd love to, but maybe I'll call Bobbin tomorrow and ask Dad to take us snowboarding. Some screwdrivers and wrenches. Nothing that I might need right now. The bookcase key is definitely one of them, but I'll never find it in this mess. I'd better check with Dad and see if he can help. Favor? You need more pocket money for presents? Now that you mention it, that's not a bad offer. I just wanted the office's bookcase key. Oh, how so? I couldn't sleep, so I thought reading one of your books would educate me as well as make me sleepy. Right. I keep it with all the other keys in the garage. Great! Thanks, Dad! Cisco, wait! I just remembered. The other day, I was changing my keys organization system. Which means? That I was so excited, I forgot to hang them back on the hooks. The keys are scattered. Fantastic. Thank you, Cisco. I was just being sarcastic, Dad. Now how am I supposed to find the bookcase key? Don't be discouraged. 
I'll give you a hint to get it. Place the keys in such a way that no key of the same color exists in the same row or column. Then, the one on the bottom left hook is the key that you want. Terrific, Dad. Just terrific. Oh, I almost forgot. One more thing. Keep in mind that every room shares the same key type. I'm going back to bed now. The door is locked. All right, let's see if Dad's instructions will help me find the bookcase key. All right, I'll spread them out and try to solve Dad's brain teaser. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the I should keep I've placed all the I should keep
I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the I should keep I've placed I should I've placed I should I've placed all the I should keep trying. Right, let's see if Dad's instruction... I've placed all the keys. I should keep... I've placed all the keys. I should keep trying... Thank you. 
I've placed all I should keep. I've placed all the I should keep. Well, let me see. It appears that all the keys are in the correct place. All I have to do now is just pick the right key. This must be the bookcase key. It reads, a touch of frost. There's a strange symbol on the cover. It reminds me of a snowflake. I believe it must be some kind of clue. It reads, I found this book glowing in Dad's office. I'd better take a closer look and see what's so special about it. To open the cryptex, I in particular, I need to keep look. I found it reads a touch of frost. There's a str to open the cryptex in particular, I need. To
The door is locked for the night. I remember when mom used this old desk to design her garden plans in the basement. She also had to do experiments that often turned the basement into a mess. Dad freaked out several times. Luckily, we built the greenhouse, and now mom has her own personal space. My design skills are just... I'm not go- I'm going- tells a story. Capture the color of Christmas this year on- Mom? I got it! I'm going- I got it! Kodak wishes you some merry, merry pictures. Dad wouldn't... Hey, Zoe! Hey, Cisco! Catch a lick! It's glowing! That might be a clue! I'd better find a way to get it without Zoe seeing me! Hey, so hey, sis. Catch a lick. Nothing under here. The remote control for the TV! I'd better take it. The score for the third quarter is 89-82 for the Lizards. Boring! Coming up next, Home Alone 2. Follow the Christmas adventure of Kevin McAllister, this time in New York. Boy, I love this movie. Too bad I don't have time right now. After the break, the Guilties coming live from Daydream Stadium. The Guilties? Isn't that Zoe's favorite band? Hey, Cisco. The Guilties are on TV! What? That's right. There's a special two-hour screening of their latest concert. Cisco, are you trying to fool me again? Because if you do, that's not going to end well for you. No, honestly. I turned on the TV and I stumbled across it. And immediately, I said I should let Zoe know about it. That sounds unlikely. Why? It's Christmas. The only time of the year we have a truce and we're nice to each other. All right. I'll try to say it in a way that you may understand. You better watch out. You better not laugh. I'm telling you why. Fine. Don't believe me. You're lost. He seemed convincing. Could it be because he was genuine? Hmm. Most of the time he is. I bet he was trying to trick me. But 
What if he wasn't? Or miss my favorite band? We can't live with that. I hate being in a quandary. That's all his fault. Cisco! Yikes! Oops, I think I struck a nerve. I better avoid talking to her for a while. Besides, it's Christmas. She will have forgiven me by tomorrow. That's strange. It's glowing. Could it be a... Okay, I better get out of her room. She might be here any minute now. A poster of Zoe's favorite band, The Guilties. It features a strange symbol, a triangle with a line. For some reason, it reminds me of a Christmas tree. The door is locked for the... Her favorite band is on, and her eyes are glued to the TV. There's no way she's getting off the couch for any reason. Honestly, I can't understand what she likes about this band. They just make noise. Hell yeah! God works in mysterious ways. I don't want to annoy her. If you're pumped, Same glow as the one in the attic. Could it be a clue? Is that a blurry symbol in the mirror? I need to find a way to make it visible. The hot steam revealed a strange symbol. Weird. It reminds me of a present. I could! Better not. I love chat and guess what? No time- The trap door leading to the attic is... I'm not... Dad's raincoat. I've seen him. 
Dad's... The door... There's no one I would like... seen him he doesn't seem to like it calm down socks there's nothing to be afraid of he's not listening to me socks is so agitated for some reason I can't remove the leash with my bare hands Socks is so agitated for some reason. I can't remove the leash with my bare hands. I can't go. No reason. I have an ins. Locked! <laughs> this is impossible. Besides, I... No! I might break the hatch! Dad will be mad if he sees it in the mo- I can't go around- That's a water barrel, used to collect the- Now we just- <laughs> Nothing special, that- <laughs> Dad planted it here, it's a real- I bet we have the most beautiful one in the- The door is locked for the night. I can't without the proper key. I can't without the... I've never seen him. He doesn't seem to like it. I'm going back. Mom? I'm going. Some cleansers and up. Okay, should I go? Okay, let's see. Tap a tap a tap a tap tap a tap tap a tap a tap a tap a tap. Hey, madam. Oh, I can't wait for the day to come that I get my driver's license. Maybe 
that's where Dad... Some screwdrivers and wrenches. Nothing that I'm... I could write this is a class... Boxes with our camping stuff. Oh! Some barbecue essentials. Nothing interesting. Forks, spoons, and knives. Hmm, maybe I should get a knife. Heading out on an adventure, it will definitely come in handy. Some plastic food storage containers with snap close lids. Nothing useful. Spiral symbol. The spiral is known to represent the journey and change of life as it unfolds. I have found all four symbols. Now let's see if I can get it open. I solved it! Let's see what's inside! All it contained was a lump of coal! It doesn't look ordinary, though! What am I supposed to do with this coal? I'd better go and ask Dad! After all, he's the one who bought it last year! Dad, what is this wooden box? Where did you find it? In the attic, along with all the other junk. Yes, now I remember. I bought it last Christmas from a weird antique shop as a present. The guy who owns the store told me some strange things about it. Something like... It's unique and magical... And a portal, I think. He insisted that I should only open it at Christmas. I believe he was trying to talk me into buying it. And he did! Why are you asking? Because I opened it, and all it had inside was a vague letter and a lump of coal. Really? Nice. At least you opened it at Christmas. I wish I knew what to do with it. I don't know. Burn it? Put it back? Throw it away? Dad! Right. Sorry. Consider it an adventure. You can do whatever you want. However, one last thing that guy told me is that if I didn't open it last Christmas, I should pass it on to another family with a kid in middle childhood or adolescence. <laughs> That's strange. 
The first part of the Guilty's concert is over. Right now, we'll continue with our regular TV program. Don't forget to check back in an hour or so for the second part. That band rocks. I can't wait for the second part. Until then, I better get back to my room. All right, let's put an end to this weird night. I hope that strange glow will disappear so I can go back to bed and wake up for Christmas. Hmm, it just turned blue. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess that's it. Back to my bed. What was that? Oh no, not again! Wait a minute, Cosmos is glowing! Cosmos? Not really. You're talking! You're levitating! You're glowing! You... You look stunned. Well, I think you mean what I am. What are you? I'm the Christmas spirit. However, you may call me Cosmos, just like your beloved teddy bear. What happened to Cosmos? Do not worry. I just needed a vessel to possess. Oh boy, that sounds evil. On the contrary. Where I come from, spirits tend to do this. If the situation requires it, we possess lifeless things in order to be able to visit your world. Nevertheless, we would never dwell in a body with a soul, my dear Cisco. That's what demons do. Hey! You know my name! Of course! I'm the Christmas Spirit. I know every kid's name. You've already said that. How is that even possible? People believe that the Christmas Spirit is just a concept. That's half the truth. The other half is that I'm a supernatural being. An actual spirit. Wow, that's mind-blowing. I'm responsible for the mood during this holiday period. For all the hope, giving, good cheer and love. Everything that Christmas stands for. <sighs> and I hope it will remain alive for the future to come. You seem worried. Indeed. That's why I'm visiting your world. How did you even manage to pass through to our world? Do you remember all the glowing cues that you followed? That was you? Yes. I guided you so that you would be able to open the cryptex and burn that magical coal. The blue fire allowed me to transit. Is there anything I can do to help? I sure hope so, since I chose you among all the kids in the world. My dear Cisco, get ready for a remarkable adventure. You must save Christmas. That sounds familiar. Was that you on the radio? As a matter of fact, it was. Everything sounds weird. What do you mean, save Christmas? Hold on tight, my boy. Santa has been kidnapped. What? As you know, it's already the night before Christmas. And with Santa missing, kids won't get their presents. That may signify the end of anything Christmassy. That's terrible! Who would do such a thing? I really can't be sure. That's something for you to find out, Cisco. But I can tell you whose help you are going to need. Yours? Sure, I'm going to be your sidekick through this adventure. But I'm referring to an ancient witch. One of Santa's oldest allies. The all-knowing Labafana. So, why me? It wasn't exactly a choice. For some random reason, 
that strange wooden box ended up in your hands. It could have ended up with any other kid. So, it was just a matter of luck? Maybe, maybe not. Huh? I mean, everything happens for a reason, right? I think that a certain chain of events led to that box being in your hands. But it was your kind soul, along with your love of Christmas, that made you not want to pass it on. Honestly, it was just my dad who couldn't be bothered to pass it on. Instead, he just threw it in the attic, along with all the other useless stuff. I see. In any case, you've been chosen. Oh boy, all this sounds too much. I wouldn't know what to do. I have faith in you, Cisco. I also understand. So, here's the short version. Santa has been kidnapped, and the essence of Christmas is at stake. But fear not, because I, the Christmas spirit, will be your companion throughout your quest to save Santa and restore good cheer to this time of the year. For reasons of intimacy, you better call me Cosmos, and I strongly recommend as our next step to go and find La Bafana. She will be able to tell us who has done this and how to rescue Santa. And how am I supposed to find her? Don't worry, I'll take us there. Omnipotent Labafana, O oh, Ancient One, hear my invocation. O oh, bringer of ashes and coal, upon the dark, beneath the full moon, on this magical night of the year, it's time for my old roots to prune. I seek forecast of the new from an all-knowing such as you. Where are we going? You ask too many questions, Cisco. Prepare yourself, for our journey begins. It's time only for answers. Shouldn't we look for transportation or something? Well, defying gravity gives me the ability of flying. And if I can fly, then so can you. I'm actually flying! <laughs> it tickles a bit, but still the best feeling ever! Woohoo! Hold your breath, Cisco. We're not there yet. So, here we are. You'll be able to find La Bafana somewhere around here. What is this place? It's the Yule Forest, one of the oldest wildwoods related to Christmas. In ancient times, spirits gathered here in a secret council to protect their festivals from the evil ones. But over time, this tradition was lost. Nowadays, people come together to this forest to celebrate, organizing fun fairs. They usually last for 12 nights. I believe there's a fair for La Bafana near here. So, it won't be that hard to track her down. To be honest, it gives me the creeps. And that story of yours didn't help, actually. There's no time for hesitation, Cisco. If the evil is the one I think it is, then it won't be that easy to release Santa. The night won't last for long. You must act. Bueno, pues hasta aquí. Gracias por ver el vídeo. 